Okay, so today we're going to install Dominion from a standard user account. I'm just going to take you through the advanced setup. Um, but before we do that, um, I just want to point out that the account we're going to be installing uh, the Dominion service on is an administrative account. Uh, you can use any other account, but it needs to have uh, log on as service um, privileges. So um, let me uh, log on to the account and configure that and you can just have a look at what exactly needs to be set before we get started. So I'm going to go to my administrative tools and then navigate through to local security policy, uh, local policies, user right management, and then go on to the item that says log on as a service. Now I'm going to run the Dominion service on this administrator account that's currently logged in. I just want to add to this group Dominion admin and add that to my group. Okay, very good. So let's switch user accounts. And now we're going to log in with the standard Dominion user. Great. So again, when I run the server setup, it's going to prompt me for an account that has sufficient privileges to, um, to install software, which is what we're doing at the moment. And now this time around, instead of using our standard installation, we're going to go with a custom installation because we need to configure the account that logs onto the service as we did in the previous step. Now for the PostgreSQL configuration, you, you might as well leave these in the default locations unless you need to change your installation directories or uh, folders where we store databases. The same applies to the folder where um, the Dominion service is installed. If you've got these port numbers already configured for other services, you might want to adjust them, um, but I don't in this instance. And now this is where we're going to enter our Dominion admin user and the password. And in the previous step, we, uh, we gave this user sufficient privileges as stated over here to, um, to run um, all the services that we need. Okay, now this is just a folder where you are going to be uploading files to. If, you, if users from remote computers are going to be um, sending files to the server, you can specify a specific location here or um, I'm just going to leave this to the shared folder on this computer for the moment and then proceed with the installation. Great, now the database server is going to install which takes a couple of minutes. I'm going to get that started and I'll join you again when this is almost done and then we can go through the rest of the setup. Great, and that is the final notice that we have successfully installed the server. It's just doing some final maintenance and there we go. Okay, so as we can see, both the server and the database server is running. We have a successful installation I'm just going to install the client. Now again, when you're installing software from a user account, it'll prompt you for an administrator's password or account. And in this instance, I can just run through the default options. Right, and at this stage also just pay again attention to the computer name that we're running this on. It's uh, Dominion TUT. It's got an IP address as well. That's the location that the server is running on. So if anybody on other machines within your network need to connect to this database, they could enter 
these credentials when we're opening the shared catalog. Okay, so we're launching Dominion. And now you will notice that uh, Dominion tries to import straight away from the start. And uh, I'm just going to cancel that dialog. And we want to connect to our shared catalog. Okay. So I, you can customize this and give your catalog, uh, you know, a user-friendly name if you like. Um, I'm just going to leave it at the default options, and then this would be on my local computer. So I can enter either the IP address or just use uh, localhost. And there we go. Admin and admin should get you in. As it states over there. Perfect, we have a successful connection.